Yo, people, them, I don't know how we've done this, but somehow we got one of my favorite keyboard manufacturers, Keychron, in the building with their Q3 TKL mechanical keyboard. Let's get it popped open and see what I've won. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, okay, little hole there. Okay, little manual thing. One little switch thing here. All right, all right, all right. USB-C to C cable. Couple of spare keycaps and that. Lord knows what this is, but I can see that it's got screws in it. And then we're onto the big boy itself. This thing has got weights. What? Must be a kilo, must be two kilograms even. This is looking wavy fam. Can you see it without the glare now? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is looking sick. Now, first of all, before we go any further, you know say we gotta do the sound test. All right, now if we start off with a little keyboard tour, on the front, obviously, we've got the 10 keyless design, and this is the version that's got a dial. Now, they do do this in a version without the dial, but obviously, man wants the functionality of just turning the volume up whenever a man wants to, and obviously, you can press it in to mute whatever's going on on the computer as well. But yeah, as you can see, everything is looking all right. It is a hot, swappable design, but yeah, what, yeah, on the back as well, over here, You've got the mode to switch it from Windows mode to Mac mode, isn't it? and obviously you've got the USB C thing. All right, now, although this is Windows and Mac compatible, I've noticed that as a standard, it's come with some Mac keys on the keyboard pre installed. But we've got the Windows ones here, so let me take off these keycaps and put in some of these Windows ones so I actually know what I'm doing. Let's get this command key out of here. We're not commanding nothing, put that out. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. All right, now let's get this bad boy plugged in. Where's the where's the cable gun? Let's plug that in there. All right, where's the light show at? Okay. Can you guys see that? Where's the light? The lights are too bright in it. You can't really see it. Hold on. There we go, fam. Yeah, 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 yeah. The light show is light showing. Don't know we need the RGB to get them extra frames per second. Let me try to wheel up some games on it though and see how it actually feels. Okay, now we're vibing. Now we're vibing. All right, so yeah, I don't know what this is. Okay, we've got the all red thing. And we've got, what's that? The breathing red thing. Then we've got the flashing rainbow thing again. Then we've got the left to right. We've got the up to down. We've got the left to right again, but this one looks like it's in a wave pattern or something. Then we've got the, the, the outside to inside. I don't even know what this one is. This one looks nice though. This one looks mad. And that's the spear. Yeah, that's the turny thing. And this is oh, it's like a it's like a swirly thing. Okay. Now another thing that's sick is that obviously this thing comes with software to help you customize the keyboard and the keys and the macros even further. Put whatever key wherever you want to put it. Cool. Boom. Boom. Blow. But. With this software, usually you have to download it to your computer, but you can use this software directly from the web page, fam. So it don't matter whether you've got Mac, whether you've got Windows, whether you've got a Chromebook, as long as you've got Google Chrome or you've got an internet browser, you can use the software that customizes the keyboard, fam, which just makes things a lot easier. Now, these red switches are wicked if you're trying to do the incognito thing, the undercover James Bond Metal Gear Solid thing. But see me, yeah? I want to be waking up the whole neighborhood when man is typing. So luckily for me, I had a little word of keycon and they sent me these blue switches. Let me let me show you how these sound real quick. You see me though? All right, let's get these switched over. Now, obviously, as you guys can tell, I'm not a keyboard warrior, keyboard specialist, or even a keyboard professional. I'm literally yanking these red switches out and putting the blue clicky switches in there one time. I think if you want the blue clicky switches to sound even better, you should like put some little lubrication gel on them. But man, I ain't got time for that. So I'm going to just slap them in and hopefully they sound quite decent. Anyway, let's have a little listen to that sound test.
Now, of course, man had to test this keyboard out on some CSGO 2. And to be honest, it did quite well. And I found that I actually preferred the red switches for movement on WASD anyway, over the blue switches. Because I feel like the blue switches have a tiny little bit more resistance than the red switches do. So I feel like I was able to move a lot more freely on those. But for like my reload buttons and my other action buttons on the keys, I preferred blue switches for those so that I don't accidentally press them kind of thing. Um, but yeah, gaming aside, typing, flawless, flawless on this thing. And the overall kind of experience I've had with this um, has been calm. And that's kind of weird for me because obviously this is a enthusiast level keyboard where you can literally buy it plain, no keys, no switches, and build it up exactly how you want it. Now that in combination with the software that you get and you can customize that even further, if you're a keyboard enthusiast, I can tell that this keyboard is exactly what you'll be looking for. The fact that you can open it, put more foam in it for dampening and for more, I don't know, acoustics with the keycap pressing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, proper keyboard warriors keyboard kind of thing. And even if you're a normal non-keyboard warrior like myself, you know, it's still a decent keyboard. You can feel that it's extremely good quality. I'd say that if you're not a keyboard enthusiast, it might be a little bit too much overkill. But yeah, you know, each to their own in it, fam. It's still a decent keyboard, no matter which way you look at it. But anyway, if you like this review and it helped you, make sure you leave a like. Um, and what do you have to do? Comment and follow me. Subscribe. Yeah, all them things there. All right, man's out.